Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real shadow client. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail, a Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. I know. This fatty guy is driving me crazy. Every time he sees me, he comes out and wants to talk. And the problem is he just won't shut up. Always ranting about that damn lawsuit against Janus and waving piles of paper at me. As if I give a rat's ass about their problems. Let the judge sort it out. What do I want? A lawsuit want between Janus and a local him. resident. It might be just what we're looking for. Batty lives in number 432. Alright, Doc. Sorry. I'm just dressing out here, okay? Please, do what you can, all right? And I'll talk to you later.
seen that Janice's oddball nurse is at it again. Oh, yeah, the bird guy. I think he comes early just to chat with the birds. Spends more time with them than he does with Janice. A couple of weeks ago... So Janice has an appointment with a male nurse every Saturday. He's down feeding the birds by the creek at the moment. Sounds like a good way inside Janus's house. I walked past him, and I have to tell you, he gets into some pretty personal stuff with those animals. He shared his opinion on Janus. Let's just say it's not exactly overwhelmingly positive. Well, cranky old men don't tend to be very likable. Maybe if you don't get along with the elderly, stay away from a career where you make personal house calls for them. about you guys. Come here, You're thought I heard so something. Chill. Checking it out over my hand. I have never met a man so full of bile. I mean, I'm just trying to help him, and he's behaving like... Huh? Interesting. He's been sitting there most of the day. I don't know what he's reading, but it looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. The new Cassandra Snow novel, maybe. Slivers of Past Shimmer, or something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. That's got to be something from the old man's archives. Oh. Hmm. If that's one of Janus's diaries, it might contain some important information about his past. Our past. Or maybe something that can help us locate the Constant. Isn't it? Mr. Anderson, how's your day? Oh, I can't complain. It's a nice day. Mrs. West made muffins, and I'm not carrying any of the usual heavy boxes for Mr. Janus. Sir, if you want to come through, I'm going to have to pat you down. Okay, thank you, sir. This, uh, this will be over in no time. Good. You're clean and good to go. New guy, huh? The regular guy is indisposed. I'm here to take care of Mr. Janus. All right, just ring the doorbell. Someone will be with you in a moment. Lafayette. He's not well. well. Hopefully it's something serious. I wouldn't mind if Lafayette was replaced permanently. He's an insufferable bore with a room temperature IQ. But if you're the new guy, you need to be on time. I have a busy schedule, you know. Shit. You have a very distinct face, my friend. Eastern European, am I right? But more than that... A refined mix of cultures. You look almost like an artist's rendering of the perfect man. I knew a man once. Got any aspirin? A doctor. He would have found you quite interesting, I think. Good day. 
So, back to this thing. I'll just spend a few minutes with the inhaler to fill my system with as much oxygen as possible before we proceed to the bathroom for the health check itself. Well, while Mr. Janus fills his lungs, I'd like a quick word with you. Please, come with me. New guy. Now, I know this looks like a relaxed operation, but I run a tight ship. Nobody gets alone time with Janice unless I know them, and I don't know you. So here's what I'll do. I'm going downstairs to run a security check on you. It should only be a few minutes. In the meantime, you wait in the study. We'll lock the doors and my men will make sure you don't accidentally wander off. I'm sure you understand. Please, wait in there. Oh. Okay. 47, you have to find a way out of there. I can't possibly construct a viable ID for you in time. I'll have Miss Hall remotely interfere with their search, but we can't keep it up for long. Well, that was certainly an interesting turn of events. Still, no rest for the wicked, 47. You could probably slip back inside and give Janus his health check while his bodyguard is busy. Just be mindful of the patrolling guards. I'm back. I suggest we go to the bathroom now. All right. Let's go then. Nicely done, 47. It's time for Janus to pay for his crimes. You know, you remind me of someone I met a long time ago. A young boy in Romania. Tell me more about this boy. Ah, the boy. I remember his eyes better than anything. Ice cold, defiant. Maybe it was the nature of the project itself that led me to dislike him, but I felt nothing but the disappointment when I looked at him. What a waste of resources. Project? What project? <laughs> it was all based on one madman's pipe dream. Create an army of super soldiers through genetic manipulation. Somehow, he had managed to impress my superiors, and they had provided him with effectively endless resources to be wasted on foolish ideas and experiments. The project was idiotic. The subjects were erratic, unreliable. Why build an army of reckless super-soldiers when a handful of well-placed spies can do so much more for your cause? What became of him? Oh, I don't know. Dead, I assume. In the end, we had his mind wiped. All the boys underwent the same treatment. I didn't follow the subsequent cleanup process, but from what I understand, the doctor and everyone else associated with the project is long gone. I see. Yes, well, enough reminiscing. Are you about done here? Almost done. Janus. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Still, 
We are close now, 47. I just hope you don't bring it with you. You can't just confiscate my property. I need it. Anybody copy? No sign of any pup. Moving on. Search formation. Spread out. Acknowledge. Hmm. Sinister looking basement. What could she be doing down here? Tell you, mm. these are the best muffins I ever had. I was supposed to meet a client for a house showing today, but <laughs> I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him, Mr. Nolan Cassidy. Um, can say that I do. A realtor with a taste for the sweet things in life is in Whittleton Creek to show a house to Nolan Cassidy. It looks like he's stuck at a local muffin stand at the moment. It would be a shame to keep Cassidy waiting, wouldn't it? Well, he's uh, he's interested in the Schmidt house down the road. You know, the one that police shut down after the, well, incident? I'm not really from around here, senor. I don't know anything about that. Ah, I see. Well, never mind. He can wait a little longer. I need to squeeze a couple more of these beauties down.
And done. I'm in the neighborhood right now. I've been working on some very promising leads. Yep, mm -hmm. making good progress. Um, great progress. That place will be sold in no time. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you have a good day. Strange. Oh boy, oh boy, this is bad. God, I feel sick. Everything just back here? Did you pass the ladies' tapes over to the house? Yes, sir. I did. No, you're not getting in here. And don't Mr. even Cassidy, think about trying I'm one sorry of those fake for the sales delay. I'm ready to take you to the house. About time. Let's go. You know which one it is, right? Last one on the right, far end of the road. I hope you've got your presentation in order. They I don't agree. want this to be a All waste clear. of time. You understand me? Yes, Mr. Cassidy. I've been eyeing this place for some time. I trust we can make a quick execution here. Of course, Mr. Cassidy. Darling, I'm so hungry. Have you seen those beautiful patties back there? And Mr. Wilson just keeps standing behind the grill, even though there's clearly no more gas on it. I know. What are you waiting for? Unlock the door and start the... Ah, finally. I've had my eye on this place for quite some time. Let's see what sort of secrets she holds. This is the downstairs living room. It is most commonly used for watching television and other recreational purposes. 
Large room, with two easy to get to exits. Dark floors, hide stains easily. A room with lots of potential. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it in here. What else can you show me? The kitchen, gas stove, vinyl floors, which can be quite slippery when wet. Along with the bathroom, the kitchen is the most dangerous room in the home. Yeah, that's not gonna make me buy this place. Let's move on. Your standard garage, spacious enough for someone to set up a gym or training area, with some added soundproofing, an enterprising individual could use this for many things. Eh, interesting, I suppose, but not really something that seals the deal for me. You know, it's a nice house, sure. But this is the garden area. Manageable size, well-placed shrubbery, useful for hiding yourself or other things. Tree house, which affords an excellent overview of the adjoining gardens. And look at all those lawn lamps. Good thing it hasn't been raining. I don't know. Got anything more interesting to show me? It's all very familiar. This is all very interesting, but where's the real magic? You know, a hidden bunker, a mysterious room, moving bookcases. And here's the basement. The usual boiler elements are to be found down here. And it seems a room with a safe of some sort. Now that is more like it. That looks just like a vault. This, this is very interesting. Yes, nice work, 47. This is Let's like hope he doesn't set off the alarm like somehow. Very nice indeed. All right, let me have a look at this thing. Advanced Kronstadt Matrix Laser Home Security System. <laughs> we used to break these open for training at the Academy. The thing about these systems is, most homeowners are lazy. So, they don't reset the factory settings and enter their own codes. Let's just try the standard admin code, just for fun. Well, what do you know? It worked. Looks like Schmidt was a bigger amateur than I imagined. Frank, go outside and check the garden. I want to know how visible this vault is from the outside. Anything sticking out of the ground, weird sloping things like that. You got it, sir. So you're looking to sell this for, uh, how much was it again, 1.1? Sounds about right. I suppose that's not unreasonable. And this vault unit? Looks quite versatile. Internal climate control. No, no, don't turn it back on. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I don't think I want to buy this place after all. Cassidy taken care of. Both targets are confirmed killed. All that remains now is to find the information we came for, and then get out of here.
off. Did you review all the mail going up from Janus's house yet? No. I got sidetracked by all the activity surrounding that politician who came to visit. Hmm. Well, I've got another letter that needs to be looked at before we allow it through. Cassidy made it clear that we'll have no leaks coming from here. I'll put it in the pile when I have time. Got it. So Cassidy withholds Janus's outgoing mail. He might have written something considered confidential in the past. Might be worth a shot. Hmm. A letter from Janus to someone called Zoe. It looks like a draft, and is full of explicit descriptions of how unhappy Janus is with Zoe and his sister having been appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Huh. I've heard that name before. This is a good find, 47. Did you drop off the surveillance tapes on Janus at the house? Cassidy was asking. Yeah, added them to the pile. What a stupid system. Record the surveillance in the attic, bring the tapes over to HQ and review them there. The recorder is perfectly capable of playing the tapes as well. Why not just keep them here? What? And risk the owners mm. of this house suddenly coming home? Cassidy is certainly keeping a close watch on Janus. I'm willing to bet those surveillance tapes hold interesting information. of some sort. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47.
as well. It's about the chairman's seat. I understand Frederick was overlooked despite my recommendations. I would appreciate an explanation of the reasoning behind the decision. Well, it's a long and rather complicated discussion to undertake over the phone. Your request was put in front of the partners and considered, but in the end, it was decided to assign the role to the Washington twins. The partners saw their ideas as a breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh air. They are fortune seekers, robbers of the past, focusing on glory and wealth and outlandish futuristic dealings rather than conservation. They are not representative of what the society was built for. I understand your concern. Rest assured, I will be watching them closely very well. It seems we have a lot to discuss when we meet soon. Agreed. Until then. Excellent, 47. This recording confirms that Janus is planning to meet with the Constant. This is just the sort of thing we're looking for. my darling, but I've got to do some sewing. James has a dressing gown in his suit. I'm sure that he's getting anxious. Apparently, he needs it. A robe for Janus? What could he need that for? When you're retired, you can get an astonishing amount of things done. ceremonial robe of some sort with a note from Janus attached. Hmm. The note is interesting. Janus has asked Helen to do a few repairs on the robe before he leaves for his annual trip. He even put a date there. 
This is valuable information, 47. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with a constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the Constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. The Ark Society, one of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite, billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted, no names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You're right. It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but... Like it happened to someone else. <sighs> your gift and your curse. What they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes. Found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. 
Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it. How did you not see this coming? My God, we came this close. The old man could have buried us all, our families. Do you think you feel more betrayed than I do? Get some perspective, please. Janus is dead. Lucas Gray is about to join him. And a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take- No, there is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, Madam. Here's to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb, only to find out he's a Providence operative. I've been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Surrey, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing, having a conscience. <laughs>